Hello students, in the previous lecture, we discussed about the types of pumping, optical pumping and diode laser pumping and we compared the two types of pumpings. Continuing with the same, today we will be discussing electrical pumping. As you can see here in the diagram, electrical word is coming from uh, potential difference which we will, we will be giving with the help of anode and cathode here in the laser. This is used in helium neon laser and semiconductor laser. So electrical pumping method is basically used to excite a laser whose active medium is in the form of a gaseous state. Now an electric field is going to be applied within the gaseous medium and a, the gas will get ionized by means of suitable potential difference. Electrons will be generated and their kinetic energy will be increased as they are accelerated by the electrical field. Due to the motion, the accelerated electrons will collide with the atoms of the medium and give up their energy to excite atoms to higher energy state and then come back to the metastable state. This helps in population inversion process. So electrical pumping, potential difference applied more to gaseous lasers and semiconductor lasers, population inversion process, continues in this laser to a great extent. Direct conversion. See, molecules can be introduced in the gas to transfer energy through direct conversion. Semiconductor laser can be an example where direct conversion of electrical energy takes place to light energy. Chemical pumping. The very word chemical means that you are using chemical lasers to achieve population inversion. And once they have asked this question on chemical pumping, that which type of lasers give examples. So chemical pumping is used in chemical lasers by a chemical reaction in which a large amount of energy gets released very quickly. Most famous example of chemical lasers are the chemical oxygen iodine laser, or you can remember the hydrogen fluoride and deuterium fluoride lasers, which are operating in the mid-infrared region. So chemical lasers are used in the industry for cutting and drilling. So very common question asked in many exams is that what is the advantage of using lasers at the place of flash lamp in optical pumping? And what type of pumping is suitable for hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen chloride lasers? See, compared with flash lamp, diode lasers are offering a better match to the output spectrum. We have also discussed in detail with a chart where we have compared the advantages. And this leads to increased efficiency and results in the smaller lightning system. You can draw that chart for this answer where you are supposed to be comparing. We have done this comparison in the previous lecture here, where we have compared here diode laser and lamp pumping laser and their advantages. Now, the associated question with this is that what type of laser is suitable for hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen fluoride? It will be the chemical laser. Another type of pumping is in elastic atom-atom collision. See, when these atoms are going to collide, the excite, they will always stay in the excited state because of collision and metastable state will always be populated with higher atoms compared to the ground state and population inversion will be achieved. So this is how we can use elastic atom atom collision also for pumping. Now two level pumping scheme. The very common question asked is that can 
a two level pumping scheme be used for laser action the answer is no why because see two levels means what are the necessary conditions for laser action population inversion metastable state and a set of resonant cavity now with two states metastable state is not possible hence two level pumping scheme fails to give an output of laser beam see an idealized atom will have only two energy states a ground state and an excited state and the only possible transition will be between these two states now if we have to achieve population inversion which is a basic condition for laser action we cannot do it with two level atom we need a third metastable state hence two level laser fails in giving a laser light obviously efficiency of such a laser is also very low this is asked a lot in section a three level laser system for three level you can remember your ruby laser and answer the questions that the three level energies are ground state metastable state and excited state or the pumping level now what happens is look at this diagram see the ground state the excited state and the metastable state now this will give us a laser light because transitions coming from metastable state to the ground state will emit laser light and other energy levels even if the transitions are coming they will be non radiative so metastable state will make the atom stay here for a longer time compared to the usual time of 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds see in meta stable state usually the atom stays for more than 10 to the power of minus 8 seconds and as the number of atoms are increased transition of atom takes place and stimulated emission of atoms is triggered and nice laser light is obtained only disadvantage with three level laser is that a very high pumping power is required and operation of three level laser is limited to pulsed operation that means your output will be in the form of pulses famous example as i told you you remember ruby laser and copper laser four level laser the question asked is why is four level laser better than three level laser compare the two see in four level laser the best part is that the output is continuous they do not require a cooling system and all conditions of achieving laser light population inversion metastable state are achieved and we get a good continuous output of laser light so that is why four level laser is better compared to the other two and the population inversion, we do not need to pump more than 50% of the atoms to the upper laser level and continuously population inversion keeps happening and we get continuous output. Common example you can remember for four level is the helium neon laser, which gives us a continuous output and we do not require any cooling system. More efficient, that efficiency is higher, pumping rate is low, continuous operation is possible. So this is there. Thank you.